You know, what was the adjustment you guys made in the second half? The defense seemed to really kind of get it together, and you guys had had a lot of missed tackles, and uh, they had converted some third downs and stuff on you guys in the first half. What was the thing you guys changed? Um, to be honest, nothing. Coach Johnson came in and Coach Grow. they kind of challenged us at halftime to say that this isn't the defense that we're going to need to play, especially heading into next week if we want to be any good. So he just laid a challenge out there, and, and thankfully we rose up. Stephen, we talked earlier in the week about trying to contain their running backs from getting outside. It seemed like you guys did a good job with that today for either one. Yeah, I feel like we did. I mean, to start the game with, uh, we struggled with that a little bit, like for a few on a few plays. But, I mean, we definitely keyed into it. And I think part of the, the uh, going back to the first question, part of what happened in the first quarter was just jitters and just, you know, making when we got back in in the second half, we came out more dialed in, and everybody was ready to go. You guys may have answered this, but what worked in the second half on third down that wasn't working in the first half on third down? Uh, just being more sound on our assignments. Uh, we kind of came out there kind of freestyling, doing our own thing. And uh, the type of defense we play, it, it's, it's, it's made specifically for us to do a specific job. So if one person comes out there and doesn't do their job, the defense has potential to break down everywhere. So everybody just kind of came out there and focused in on what they had to do. What was going through both of y'all's minds watching the offense <laughs> go up and down the field quickly and score those touchdowns like that? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it was bittersweet. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, on one hand, we're on the sideline. You know, we had just came out, fought, fought real hard against the offense, and uh, we, w we wanted to get a little break. But then you look up and you see Orrin Smith running down the field for 70 yards. I mean, in the back of your mind, you're like, really? But that, that's what we're here to do. We're here to play defense and put them on the field. So as long as they keep going like that, I don't have any complaints. Felt great. I mean, the offense is doing their thing, and we just have to key in on what we have to do. We can't really get into too much. I mean, and too jubilant about the offense. We got to, you know, focus in and do our thing too. So I mean, it's great. I'm I'm happy the offense is doing great. Both of you guys, what what reminders did you have of the of last year's KU game this week? Um, Coach Grove put on a film last night. He he. He categorized all the bad plays that we had against Kansas last year, and he just kind of put the remote down and walked out of the room when the, fi when the film was done. And we saw that as a challenge. We felt like we had been called out. We had read in the paper all week about how excited they were and how that was the most fun they had ever had on a football field last year. And in the back of your mind, a as a team, as a football player, it hurts. You know, we felt called out. So we kind of came out here and we tried to make a statement today. So I, I, I guess you could summarize by saying there was, was really uh, motivation was not a necessity for you guys. You knew what you had to do. Definitely. Yes, sir, definitely. Coach Johnson's one of, his, one of his favorite quotes is, revenge is a great motivator for those who care. So if we came out here and we cared today, we felt like we, felt like we did what we needed to do. Uh, Jeremiah, when you guys went to that, I guess the 2-4-5, it seemed like you may be able to use your speed a little better on third down. Is that how you yes, saw it? Uh, yeah, we had a little... Uh, Third down package, our, our, our dime wrestlers. I mean, uh, Brandon was doing this thing on the other side. I was doing my thing. I mean, we, I mean we're a physical and fast defense, and that's what we, how we want to play on every down, not just third down. You guys use that formation before a lot? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we use it. I mean, we, we have a lot of formations we use. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure, but I, I mean, I think, I think we played, played situation in football. I mean, every, I mean, every down we will look to the sideline, see what we need. But I think it was mostly we played a lot of regular too, regular defense, so it wasn't much like changing. Is this the kind of thing you can carry over to the conference when it starts next week? Hopefully. That's what we're hoping for. I mean, we had a lot of momentum, especially in the second half, uh, led off by the offense. They did a great job today, and we just kind of tried to build off what they did. So hopefully we keep the ball rolling going into next week. Exactly. I mean, I feel like O. Johnson uh, made, it, made a point to us about how we came out in the third quarter and how that's how we're supposed to play uh, for four quarters, from first to, fourth, to the fourth quarter. So I feel like we, have, we got that feeling, and like, we know what it takes to compete in our conference, so. It, it seems like you did a pretty good job of containing the Wildcat. What adjustments did you make going into the game to contain that? Um, it's just being uh, assignment smart. 
knowing what you have to do and not trying to do too much. You have to, you have to trust, I have to trust that on the other side, Jeremiah's gonna do his job just as he has to trust mine. So as long as everybody goes out there and plays their responsibility, we feel like we have a good chance against anything that they put out there. Yeah. Um, Steven and Jeremiah, both you, Jeremiah, Steven, you were talking about that meeting last night with the film, like after he walked out and, and the, the session was over, like what were you thinking, what, what, what happened in, in, the, in the meeting? Uh, we kind of said there, there's nothing else that needs to be said. I mean. He put it out there. He said, this is what happened last year, and this is how, how the game ended up. It ended up with the, with the scoreboard showing the final score. And uh, at, like I said, as a football team, as a defense, we took that as a slap in the face kind of to know that we had them right where we wanted them last year, and we came out there and did what we did today. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we did what we needed to do. Exactly. There was nothing else to be said. When you watch the film and to see how the mistakes and how, like, how – uh, there wasn't any like really hustle or there wasn't any physicality. So we saw that as a challenge and everything we did wrong on that film, we wanted to correct today. Jamia, he, he, he had an, a, an exceptional off season. He worked really hard and you could tell that there was going to be something special with him. Um, this season, I told West West Durham the story in the downstairs in the locker room. Jami is exceptionally strong. I don't know if anybody knows that, but uh, we were working out on Thursday, and he had 275 pounds on the bar. Now, if you look at Jami Thomas, he's not that big. And before I could get my hands on the bar to give a ride off, he was already on set no, uh, rep number three, just p pumping him out. He's an exceptionally hard worker, and it's carried over to the field. So we're excited to have him. We're glad he's on our team. Yeah. 